the Directorate for Nuclear Safety and Security started uh, 25 years ago to research on the use of the alpha emitter radionuclides for the treatment of tumor. We provide also supply of these radionuclides and we follow all the application from the in vitro until the bed site. We currently developed a new pharmaceutical that is the coupling of the actinium 225 with PSMA 617 and this has been a breakthrough that actually demonstrated the validity of the concept of all these studies that we did. Alpha emitters have two distinct advantages for application in cancer therapy. The high energy of alpha radiation of several mega electron volt, together with the very short range of alpha radiation in human tissue that corresponds to only a few cell diameters. Therefore, target alpha therapy allows the very effective and at the same time very selective killing of tumor cells while sparing surrounding healthy tissue. Actinium-225 and its short-lived daughter nuclide Bismuth-213 are two particularly promising radionuclides for application in targeted alpha therapy. The Joint Research Center in Karlsruhe, together with its hospital partners, have been testing the application of Actinium-225 and Bismuth-213 in cancer therapy in a number of clinical tests, more recently for the treatment of neuroendocrine tumors, bladder cancer, brain tumors, and prostate cancer. To date, more than 1,000 therapies have been provided to patients worldwide. Recently, we have achieved a significant breakthrough with the successful development of Actinium-225 PSMA-617, a novel compound for treatment of prostate cancer. We have first synthesized and characterized Actinium PCMA 617 here at the Joint Research Center in Karlsruhe in 2013 and soon started clinical testing with hospital partners in Germany and also in South Africa at Steve Biku Academic Hospital in Pretoria. During my revisit in this hospital in January this year, I had the possibility to present the methodology and the results in meeting that I had with the EU permanent representative and the South Africa, as well as with the Minister of Health of South Africa, Mr. Mosoleti. In September last year, the International Atomic Energy Agency in Vienna had a scientific forum dedicated to health, from the diagnosis to the treatment, and as invited speakers, I could present this methodology. Already among the very first patients that received the novel compound, we have seen remarkable responses with significant benefit to patients suffering from end-stage prostate cancer. And we can expect that the combination of actinium-225 or its short-lived daughter nuclide bismuth-213 with other suitable ligands might be equally effective for the treatment of other cancer types, such as breast cancer or brain tumors. Here at Chelsea Karlsruhe, we are able to produce Tinium 225 in a very high purity and we can use for clinical settings. We are producing around more than 1,000 doses of Actinium, which we can use for patients. The development of standardized uh, labeling protocols for peptides or antibodies with an alpha emitting radioisotopes is a very important part of our work. This is a basis for the widespread application in clinical hospitals. And uh, the second important part of our work is to train also medical staff with a safe handling of radioisotopes for clinical use, to reduce dose to the clinical staff and dose to the patients. Our successful development of Actinium PCMA 617 is very important for two reasons. It can provide a novel therapeutic option for the second most frequent cancer in men for prostate cancer, but at the same time it's also a striking demonstration that the concept of targeted alpha therapy works. We are very much interested in doing externalization of the production and we are discussing a lot of pharmaceutical companies that the methodology with other radioisotopes is working very well on the HIV and AIDS. This would be uh, support to the Agenda 2030 of the Sustainable Development Goals for Health, this combating actually malaria and infectious disease, but also could be really a benefit for the industrial production, for new startups, so also for the priority of the European Union for job and growth and new enterprises.
In March, there was also an important conference in Brussels. The Commissioner for Energy and Climate and the Commissioner for Health, in their opening addresses, they uh, stressed the fact that it is important to use the radio nuclear medicine for treatment of tumors. The Director General of the International Atomic Energy, Mr. Yuki Amano, intervened in this conference, outlined the importance of this methodology in support of the Sustainable Development Goals of the Agenda 2030 of the United Nations. But now we have reached the mature stage, so the methodology is really settled up it works and also at the political level like the standing is really mature that this is something that we can continue and is uh, really a good uh, option for the future and benefit to the citizens.